What's new on GTV? That's the name of the game at this point. GTV has a phenomenal spectrum of over 2.4 million viewers, and therefore we encourage new segments and new personalities to join our existing team with your existing and new features. That new feature we'll be showcasing on Chitramala will be called Khan's Digital World. This will be illustrated by a genius scientist by the name of Dr. Badrul Khan. By the way, Dr. Khan, if you're listening, our hearty congratulations on your recent international award. Like many of you, I am also asking, what will be the content of Khan's Digital World? Let's get the answer for you, so please stay tuned. Namaskar, Adab, Aslam Walikum, Asasri Akal, Minilima Mehra, Aapiki Hosta, Aapiki Dost. I don't know what to call this particular segment, What's New on GTV or Name and Fame, because this gentleman that's sitting right beside me is both famous, popular, and is known all over the world. Actually, the new segment that will be appearing on GTV is called Khan's Digital World. Obviously, it's very evident. Khan's Digital World, the last name of this famous personality is Khan. His first name, Badrul. And nicely said, Dr. Badrul Khan. GTV will feature this particular segment, Khan's Digital World. And we're very proud, actually, to be associated with this famous personality. And what will be the content of the show? You're as curious as I am, because I really don't know. Let's find out. Here he is. Dr. Khan, welcome. So nice meeting you again. Good to meet you too, sir. Very How good. are you? I'm very good. Are you always as good looking and handsome and prim and proper like this? Uh, well, uh, if you think so, <laughs> but I, I'm inside a good person. <laughs> oh, of course. I've known you for many, many moons. Trust me, I know you, you very well. But it's, it's an honor to have you at our studio. So thank you very much for coming and featuring this um, segment and educating our community. First of all, I'd like to offer you my heartiest congratulations because I know that you were a keynote speaker. So tell our viewers, where were you the keynote speaker? And more than that, you were honored at uh, the Hall of Fame. So quickly tell our viewers about that. Well, uh, thank you for having me here. I'm very blessed that I have been inducted into the United States Distance Learning Association's Hall of Fame. 2015 and last the keynote I have given I was for the NATO conference on e-learning and again it was such a wonderful time that I had with different shows with GTV Chitramala and Mrs. Mehra is always keep me reminding that we have to contribute to the world and here I am with a new show I'm hoping that I will exactly do the same. Beautiful. So you're a professor, you're a genius scientist, you're an author. I mean, how do you put all of this together? How? I well, mean, you've, you've written so many books. How, how do you do this? Well, what happens is that in my website, which is badrulkhan.com, mm -hmm. uh, the first thing I have written there is that when passion becomes profession, mm -hmm. life is no longer boring. Wow, beautiful. And I my, like that. And my profession and my passion is e-learning. So once you have these two conjugated, two together, your life is no longer boring. You feel very excited. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what got me going. Oh. And I hope to contribute more in the field. And through the new show, The Khan's Digital World, that's exactly what I like to do. Beautiful, beautiful. So you just said a second ago, e-learning. Elaborate on that. Well, what e-learning is, e means electronic. Of course. Any kind of electronic devices you can use, that could be computer, television, radio, or even anything, uh, gadgets that you use for learning. So using these gadgets, these technologies for learning purposes, mm -hmm. that's what you're calling e-learning. Mm -hmm. And nowadays, you probably have heard the new terms how this technology has been used in education and training. Mm -hmm. You can heard something like e-education, e-training, mm -hmm. web-based training, web-based instruction, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. distributed learning. All these terms simply mean that you are using technology as a delivery medium to convey your message, whatever it is in education or this information. Mm, beautiful, lovely, very well put. So let me ask you a question. When I was growing, I'm a biochemist. When I was growing up, we used to attend lectures and quickly jot down notes and 
look at the film, we didn't have this Google and internet and all these things. Do you think with the progression of E, one day we would attend lectures and we would not need professors to teach us? Well, uh, nowadays there are courses uh, that are completely online. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Last couple of weeks ago, I taught a class for the University of Texas, the program that I was a founding director, mm -hmm. completely online course. Wow. So, one of my students, I have seen them in face to face, so it is possible. But you have to decide what is, what, what is that you are trying to teach. If mm. the subjects are, for example, in last show, I mentioned if you have to do, the medical students have to learn the surgery, mm -hmm. can you use e-learning method? Yes, you can, but blended way. Mm -hmm. Because surgery is so hands-on. You want your doctors, your doctors, to be hands-on, touch the blood, understand you, mm -hmm. understand the policy right. of the hospital, mm -hmm. understanding the rehabilitation, mm -hmm. and talking to your, you know, your relatives. Mm -hmm. So make you feel good. Though these are very hands-on. Mm -hmm. So how can you do e-learning for medical students? Mm -hmm. Well, if there is a famous surgeon, very experienced one, mm -hmm. if you can videotape, record his operational process, and by segment by segment, frame by frame, students, mm -hmm. medical students can view it mm -hmm. before they actually go to the operating table. So in some places, they call this flipped classroom. Wow. Means flipped classroom, you do all this view, every materials you have, mm -hmm. do before you come to the class. Mm -hmm. So you see, yes, e-learning is possible. We have to be very cautious. What is it that we are teaching? If it requires action learning, hands-on, mm -hmm. you have to have that in mind. So we call it blended e-learning. Oh, wow, blended e-learning. Correct. I have to tell Ratnesh about this because after 17, 18 hours of surgery, I, I'm always teasing him. I said, Ratnesh, you're so tired. How about Googling some information? He says, Mom, it's hands-on. We have to be taught. He's right. You know, brain surgery is not, not easy. No. So um, now I have a question for you. You are going to be projecting Khan's digital world on Chitramala. What would, would be the content? What are you going to project? How will you teach the community? What are you trying to do and what will you be doing in this segment? Well, the whole purpose of Khan's digital world is to make sure that the opportunities that we have in the digital world mm. with the infusion of technologies, they are working for our benefits. Mm. And I would make the Khan's digital world as a platform mm. of how we can improve mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the digital world most meaningfully mm -hmm. and responsibly so that we can use the digital world to benefit every sector of our life. Beautiful. And the digital world will not only have the issues only on education. Mm -hmm. It will have, if you think of the umbrella, mm -hmm. an umbrella have different spokes. That's right. Each of the spokes you can think about e-education, e-commerce, e-governance, government, e-health, e-entertainment, e-agriculture, all these areas will be discussed under the umbrella of digital world. Wow. So I really like this show is your show. Mm -hmm. This is the viewer show. Mm -hmm. What I will do, I would like to hear from you. Actually, in badrulkhan.com, badrulkhan.com would have something called uh, TV, uh, you know, uh, segment. There you can voice your concern, and I'd mm -hmm. like to hear from you. Then I will do the research, and I will have some research associates that are helping me finding the right answer for you and present to you. It's, it's more like a rendezvous of dialogue. Mm -hmm. So you're, it's a dialoguing show. Mm -hmm. So I really want my viewers to uh, help me out with this. Mm -hmm. and, and not only that, if, if you're too lazy to go on his uh, um, .com, you can always, like 2.4 million viewers of ours have been emailing us. You can email out your questions to GTV and we'd be happy to you know, pass them over to you and you can, you can take it from there. But I think it's, it's just such a beautiful way of learning and, and progressing in life. Now they even have what's called e-tax filing. You know, and I usually ask CPA Manjit Singh, I said, why do we need CPAs like yourself when I can do e-filing, you know? He says, oh, it's not so easy. Life is fairly complicated. So mm -hmm. um, um, now, will you be using contents of your books? Because I know you're a very famous author. In your contents of Khan's digital world, will you be incorporating what's written in your books at all? Yes, as you can see behind the scene yes. in there, uh, it's called Khan's uh, e-learning framework. Mm -hmm. You have to understand, 
everything we do like e, e health e enter, uh, enterprise e uh, agriculture e health mm -hmm. Uh, E-entertainment, all this you have to, learning is at the center. Mm. So the framework that I have right in the back right. is basically Khan's e-learning framework. So he talks about pedagogy like uh, teaching and learning issues, technological issues, interface design issues, issues dealing with ethical issues, management issues, all this will be discussed for each segment. If I talked oh. about like my second episode will be e-education, mm -hmm. I was going to use that. Mm -hmm. The third uh, episode would be e-health. Nice. So for the nice. e-health, I'm going to show them how this framework right. will be tapped into the specifically for the health. Beautiful. And then how we can improve. There's, you see, what is happening in this world, we are living in a parallel world. Yes. We are in the physical world. Around us is a virtual world. Yes. We have like e-transaction, e-commerce, everything e around us. Mm -hmm. Are we taking advantage of it right? Mm -hmm. We should not have used it, we yeah, should use course. it right. Of course. If we use it right, we have to think about the next generation. Mm -hmm. Our next generation will feel good. You know, things like climate change. That's right, that's you right. You have like a nuclear um, weapons, mm -hmm. you have pollution. This can destroy our generation. That's right, that's right. So. We do have the power to destroy them, but we have to use that power, like we have the rules in the society, mm -hmm. how can we use them in the virtual? That's we right. need to learn how to be a good virtual citizen. That's right. That's because right. we are physical citizen. If we can follow the rules and regulation for the physical world, we should do the same thing for the virtual world. Mm -hmm. So we are living in a two world, actually virtual or physical. physical now, right. if you say that I want to live in the physical world, mm -hmm. nobody's going to bother you. That's right. But That's right. then you're going to be, uh, you instead of going to the you know, ATM machine, you have to go to the line up for people, you know, withdraw your money. Mm -hmm. Instead of buying something from a big online store, mm -hmm. you, you just have, to, you can go to a store, you can buy online. Mm -hmm. So all these things basically, it brings you a situation where you have constraints. That's right. Either That's you right. go with it or you don't. If you don't go with it, you lag behind. Of course. If you go with it, going with it is good. At the same time, you have to follow rules and regulations. Why not? We do need international. Through this show, I would like to request internationally, we should have some standards, rules, and regulations. Mm -hmm. So our citizens, the, their behavior, uh, from the good behavior from the physical world transfer into virtual world. Mm -hmm. You know how many threats can come instantly in the instantaneously that's to right. our uh, that's right. information highway. It that's can right. block our uh, you, 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 our survival. Right, right. So we got to right. be more careful mm -hmm. about this digital world has gotten so much to give us. That's right. Mm -hmm. But we can abuse it. We can really have to uh, aware mm -hmm. our citizens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No matter what you do for, if you're driving a car for navigation, you have to use it right. Mm -hmm. So it's not, I'm not an expert on technologies, mm -hmm. but I like to uh, learn more about how all the attributes of these technologies and their implication on our daily life. Beautiful, there we go. Like he says, Dr. Badrul Khan, he's a genius and a mastermind behind all this. I mean, you progress, but life has rules and regulations. Even to breathe, the doctors say, do it this way, do it that way. And I think we all can have a long, happy, healthy relationship with each other, build our future, and also live in that virtual world. Physical world, yes, but virtual world is the way to go, to progress every single day of our life. Well, Dr. Khan, we certainly look forward to Khan's digital world on Chitramala. And uh, I'm sure you'll do well. And also, if you do miss him on Chitramala, I'm sure he'll be putting his segments on YouTube, Facebook, website, and you can always follow him there as well. And for any questions, you know we're here. Thanks a lot for listening to us. And so Thank we you welcome so much. you. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Take care. Yeah.